Welcome to the very last Women Living Tour Challenge for the year 2020. Hi everyone, it's Raquel here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel all about how I enthusiastically and practically live out God's Word in my heart, home, and family. If you love the Lord and love keeping His commandments and living His Word out in your day-to-day -day life, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos about biblical living for women. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have been enjoying these biblical womanhood challenges. I certainly have. They've been keeping biblical womanhood on the forefront of my mind throughout the month and have helped me to be proactive about pursuing godliness in my heart, home, and family. So let's get into December's Women Living Tour Challenge right now. Our first challenge of the month is to read about the Shunammite woman in 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 8 through 37. When I was trying to determine what passage we would read this month, I was, you know, looking through my Bible and just kind of flipping to different passages and just really kind of prayerfully asking the Lord, what do you want us to focus on this month? And I came to this passage, I read it, and I was crying. I was crying at the end of it. And so I hope that this passage is going to bless you this month and just propel you toward godliness and that at the end of the month, we'll have something to share with each other about what the Lord was teaching us from it. Challenge number two is to memorize Psalm chapter 25, verses 4 through 11. This is a total of eight scriptures. So what I personally like to do to memorize is at the beginning of the month, I write it into this Biblical Womanhood Challenge journal or notebook that I have dedicated just for these challenges. And then every week, I focus on two, just reading those two continually. And then the second week, I read the other two, so all four continually. And then the third week, I add two more. So now I'm reading six scriptures that week continually. And then finally, on the last week, I do all eight scriptures, and it just it sticks with me. That's what I personally like to do. Um, but of course, do whatever works best for you. Maybe just having a dedicated time to sit down and, you know, to memorize one scripture on this particular day and then another scripture another particular day. However you like to do it. I love to pray this psalm and I hope you will enjoy memorizing this month. Challenge number three is our prayer focus for the month. And I know that these prayer focuses can be the one that's kind of not on our mind as much and we kind of forget to do it. But I want to encourage you ladies that we need to be constant in prayer, diligent in prayer, because ultimately it's having a relationship with the Lord that's going to grow us in the way that we need to grow as wives and mothers and homemakers and women in general. We have to have a relationship with the Lord. So our prayer focus for this last month of 2020 is that we would be dedicated and surrendered to the Lord. And this prayer is really about, Lord, examine me thoroughly. Examine my heart, examine my mind, my words, my actions. Just examine me through and through and expose to me any sin that's in my life, any ungodliness in my life. Expose me and then forgive me of those things and teach me what is righteousness? Teach me your ways. Show me your past. And this is where it all begins. If we want to be godly women, godly wives and mothers, this is where it begins with saying, Lord, here I am. I am dedicated and surrendered to you. Challenge number four is to write down your values and your priorities that you have in life. What are the things that truly matter to you? What are kind of those bare basic things that you have to have as part of your everyday life? You know, and I don't mean things as in material objects. I mean, what are those things that truly matter to you in life? If you have children, then more than likely one of your items will be something about building a relationship with your children. That tends to be really important to parents. And so that, those kinds of things, what really matters to you in life? And then once you kind of have a good list, now this list might take you all month to make, which is perfectly normal. We kind of start with like the bare minimum, the first things that pop into our head. But then as we're living life, then we realize, oh, yeah, that's important too. That, that's really important. And so you write those down as well. So it might take you all month to write this list. 
And then once you have a pretty solid list, this, of course, it can still be adapted and changed, but once you have a pretty solid list, then prayerfully ask yourself, does my life reflect these values and these priorities? Or is it out of balance? Let's say that cleaning didn't make your list. Am I spending all of my time cleaning and not so much time on bonding with my children? Let's say that's on your list. Then, you know, just prayerfully reflect and ask the Lord to show you where your life is out of balance and to teach you to apply your heart to wisdom in these areas that truly matter in life. I actually did this last year. I'll put a link to that video in the description box. But just making this list and asking myself that question really made a huge difference in my life of coming back into balance um, with the things that matter and doing things in life that truly mattered. So I'm going to be doing it again with you this month for the challenge, and I hope it's going to be a blessing for both of us and for our families as well. And finally, challenge number five is to plan and prepare a cozy dinner this month. It can be any day that you choose. So you might want to do like a special Shabbat dinner. Um, maybe you want to just choose like one of the coldest days of the month and have a special dinner then. It can be any day that you like, and it can really be any type of food. It can be your everyday normal fare, or it can be gourmet food, really whatever you want to eat. It's really the atmosphere that we're going for, an atmosphere of togetherness, an atmosphere of the home is our refuge. You know, this is our place. It's a place of peace and comfort for each of us. That's what we're going to be going for in this challenge for this month. So there you have it, our five new Women Living Torah challenges for the month of December. We're going to end this year pursuing biblical womanhood in our hearts, homes, and families. I am so delighted that you are here. Please like this video and let me know in the comments if you are going to be joining us for this challenge. Definitely share it with another godly woman in your life. We are in this together. Let's encourage one another in godliness in our everyday lives. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here. I pray that God would bless you and keep you. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.